Tamara's a great man. He touched so many lives among survivors. I know he thought very highly of you. And continuing to serve the Romulan people. On to business. So until we're working on beginning settlement in Dua 3. Or what we're calling New Romulus. Good luck out there, Centurion. We will stop. Congratulations, Centurion. And I get a ton of everything. Get a ton of XP. Made level and almost made a second level. I get costume outfits. Costume unlocks. Ooh. New officers want to join your crew. Alright. That means I can do duty officer missions. Ooh, that'll be special. And neutral no more. Greetings, Novus. I'm taking over as your liaison with the Romulan Republic since Tamara is no longer with us. You have proven yourself and earned the respect of your fellow Romulans. A contact from your new allies would like to speak with you. Speak to your new contact. Jolan True. Ah, you're a hideous one. No. That right there is a bridge officer candidate. Um, basically a randomly generated creature that we can assign to our bridge. We will not be assigning that one. That one is spooky. Hail New Romulus Command to report. Choose one of the following. Romulan Engineering Candidate. What do you have? Romulan Operative. Ooh, that's a good one. Romulan Science Officer. Again, Romulan. Operative. Romulan Tactical Officer Candidate. Citizen Hecklack. That's a great name. But you do not have Romulan off. So, so you can suck it. Meanwhile, let's grab this one. We're probably going to need an engineering candidate, a second engineering candidate. So we might as well grab Citizen Mechat. I'm sure he'll do wonderful for us. Ugh, that... When I said randomly generated creature, I didn't mean everyone was going to be like that. Fortunately, we can adjust Potato Man at our convenience. Fortunately. All right, and you're still glowing. Did you need something? I spoke to our allies' contact. I'm glad you've chosen an ally. We're going to need all the help we can get. Still, the loss of Tamer deeply affected our fleet. I worked with Tamer almost every day. He was not only my mentor, but my friend. I know you two fought side by side many times. I know I'm a poor substitute, but I hope together, along with our allies, we can build a bright future for the new Roman Republic. I hope so, too, Nadell. Sergeant of Mara's files. I will let you know as soon as I find anything. In the meantime, talk to the ship vendor and get a new ship. Yay! Acknowledged. The tall shower is advancing on our allies. Zerm. Excellent. Well, it's good to know we can get a new ship. We've been desperately in need of one, basically ever since we step set foot on this one. Use turbo left. Mm -hmm. Shlunk. To the transporter room. But getting a new ship is not an easy, simple process. You have to kit it out, you have to assign bridge officers and their various powers and abilities. And it takes a while. We'll be doing most of that off screen. But we can at least talk to the ship vendor, see our options, and pick up something. Yeah, You're a frightening one, aren't you? So make it centurions. Let's for you to choose a new ship appropriate to your status. Are your eyes red? I mean, seriously. I'm seeing, like, lava behind your pupils. Alright, well, let's get ourselves a new starship. Browse selection. Turn that off. Now, our particular rank is Centurion. So, what Centurion ships can we get? Well, we have access to both uh, Romulan 
and some Federation ships. I don't know if we can actually get these. I think we... No, we have to buy them outright. So our choices are rather constrained. Really. Now we can choose, you know, one of these. Anyone with the little medallion by it is a Zen ship. We would need to spend some in-game currency for that. Which we're not going to do. So our only real choice here is the Delon Warbird. It's not a bad ship. It's got two science slots, an engineering slot, a tactical slot. It's got some more guns than our ship. It's a little bit speedier. Okay, it's a lot a bit speedier. It should be a good ship for the next uh, four levels or so that we'll be in it. So, buy a ship. Bink. Trochus. Oh, we're going to have to change that name, but not yet. The next step is, of course, to find a guy who can put us in the ship. This fellow. Deem. I guess. Deem. Change active starship. Ah! Received word that the miners on Beta Thorador spotted Noskin pirates near their system. The pirates haven't bothered to attack the mining installation, but it's only a matter of time. Beta Thorador is an unremarkable system, but there's a small republic colony there that mines heavy metals necessary for ship construction. I need you to take your new ship to the Beta Thorador system and control the area. Just let everyone know that the republic is watching. Understood. Alright, now let's actually get in the ship before we take it out. Change active starship. The Trocus. Ready starship. Jing. And finally, we can customize it. Let's make this pretty. Right now, this is the Trocus. It's a Delenn Warbird, and quite frankly, I'm not too fond of it. It's those arched wings. They look wrong. Also, it looks kind of like some sort of alien suckerfish. So let's swap over to advanced. Uh, let's randomize, shall we? Now, down at the bottom, it's giving us a total cost in Zen. That's because some of the random parts it's putting on here can only be purchased with Zen. Uh, ship packages and stuff like that. So let's randomize until we get something that doesn't have a cost on it. Hmm. Hmm. That looks... okay. Let's play around with the material, though. Chink. Oh, that's a lot brighter. Brown. Yeah, I think we'll go with this because brighter means prettier. We all know that, right? Shump. Still has that sucker fish face on it, though. I don't know if there's anything we can do about that. Oh, yeah, we can also change the colors. That's not a very good pink. Uh, still not great. Let's see what patterns we can put it in. Dink. Dink, 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 dink. 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 Dink, 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 dink. Well, it makes sense for these patterns to have Latin names, I suppose. What with being Romulan and all. Eh, that's good. That'll strike fear into the hearts of our enemies, I'm sure. If that sucker fish face doesn't do it for him. Is there anything we can do about that? No, all the other ones cost money. 
So, this is what we got. Let's buy it and run. Excellent. Alright. And I'm afraid, though, that this episode has gone on quite long enough. And we've achieved a major milestone in our adventures. But for now, it's time to sign off. I'm Nelson Williams. This is Star Trek Online. And we're here with Novus Pictora. Let's do a wave. Say bye. Bye, Paul. Bye, bye. Ah, uh, no. That's definitely not her voice. Uh, she'll be the strong, silent protagonist from now on, I think. In any case, thank you for watching, and good night.